All right. I think we can get started. So thank you all for joining. Um, I great to see some of our existing partners, some of new partners joining this webinar. Uh, this is a partner only session uh, that we have launched and we will do several of these uh, probably every month. Um, we have been working with several partners. Uh, technology has been um, you know, continuously uh, developing and we are innovating on new features. Uh, some great success with some of the biggest uh, Fortune 500 customers that we would like to share as part of these webinars, uh, the success uh, with those uh, customers. But most importantly, we want to make sure that uh, there is a channel, there is a webinar series where we can provide a new updated information to our, to our partners. Um, my name is Numan Mustafa. I run the business development um, for Aviatrix. Uh, which also includes uh, relationship with our partners, including all the SIs, MSPs, managed operations partner, consulting partners, and all the CSPs, right? So great to be here um, presenting this uh, along with me is Shahzad Ali, uh, who is also uh, part of our partner team, uh, focused most on solutions architecture. Uh, we both are sort of solutions architecture by trade. Uh, and I think this is what the cloud world needs uh, um, very happy to be working with several partners in the last three, four months. I'm, we are seeing a flurry of uh, partners across the world interested in incorporating Aviatrix as part of their portfolio, which is great to see because this is what customers are demanding them. And you know, all of our partners, uh, you know, they are doing their own research as well in terms of uh, why uh, solutions like Aviatrix uh, is important for the customers who are moving to the cloud at a very rapid pace and taking their business critical applications to the cloud. Uh, we also have John Gonzalez, uh, principal evangelist, Brad Headland, um, senior solutions architect, uh, um, very well known uh, in the industry, and Saad Mirza, who is also a leader in the solutions architecture team, available for answering any questions. Um, so let's start. So what we are going to cover today, right, is um, probably is going to be a repeat for several partners who. <clears throat> have been familiar with Aviatrix, <clears throat> who have been working with Aviatrix, and obviously there are active projects that they are working on, but they might, they may be also new partners that we want to make sure that we get the level set in terms of the technology introduction, uh, tell them some uh, some new stuff that we are working on in terms of security, embedded security in edge. We will have follow-up sessions where we will focus on um, deep, deep dives. Um, you know, this one is going to be more generic in nature. But the idea is also to have a have you guys have a contact with the partner team at Aviatrix that you can discuss opportunities, bounce ideas, ask questions, remove any clarifications that you may need. Um, so overall, um, the session objectives is obviously to tell you about the trends that we are seeing and some of the immediate goals for this session, as well as um, obviously you know you get to know about the partner team at Evitrix that you can reach out to. So what we are seeing is, as I mentioned earlier, right, is uh, business, critical, business critical applications are moving to the cloud, right? So early on it was more customers were trying with some non uh, business critical applications, but now we are seeing application like S SAP S4 HANA, uh, payment applications, financial applications, uh, applications where the inter entire business runs on are moving to the cloud. And obviously that elevates the need for networking enterprise grid networking, security, and the focus is also is on resiliency and how can we optimize cost. This is where we are seeing two or three ways where Evitrix solution is becoming very prominent. Number one is where customers themselves are pushing the trusted partners to have a solutions like Evitrix incorporated. And you guys all have seen that. But also, I mean, obviously a lot of partners are proactive uh, and, and innovative in their own research and they're finding out that when applications move to the cloud, and obviously multi-cloud being the new normal, we need to have a unified, consistent architecture and software platform that can help customers not only deploy this in day one, but manage it in a very simple, secure manner uh, in day two as well. So they're looking for those modern cloud um, software solutions within the within the cloud, whether it's one cloud, multiple regions, or multiple cloud. That's where Evitrix is becoming very prominent. Uh, Evitrix also has a partner first approach because this is the way, only way for us to scale globally. Right? We have a very good success now across the globe with major enterprises 
But in order for us to scale, partners becomes our primary source, uh, which is not new. Everybody knows that. So big partners give us the trust um, that we need uh, with their customers, and we bring in the quality support, quality product, quality innovation, and all the experience that we have gained over the past seven to eight years working with cloud first customers or cloud smart customers. Uh, also, we, we want to leverage the power of three, uh, which is uh, extremely valuable in some cases where you know uh, we work with a partner and then we work with AWS and Azure and GCP. Uh, and then in the, in, in the marketplaces, we have certain uh, you know, solutions that we can also spin up, which gets a lot of traction and a lot of people who comes to the marketplaces see the solution and then that gets the 10 10x impact uh, for for the joint solution. So that's something that you know we have seen with several vendors. Uh, we can discuss one on one if you have some smart ideas. We do have some smart ideas on how we can accelerate and 10x this uh, motion. Uh, we can uh, work on it uh, on the side as well. Now, what is the immediate goal? Uh, immediate goal, obviously, you guys are familiar with the matrix. Uh, Shazad, after this session, uh, my slides, you will present again an overview of Avatrix, some of the key features and key go-to-market approaches that can help you get started very quickly. But we all know that you know cloud motion is land and expand, right? So it's about how do you land the customer um, with a use case, with a pain, uh, and then from there, you expand, right? This is how the cloud motion works. So identifying what are the quick pain points and use cases is very important. And this is where we will cover some of the key use cases which you can look for and um, help out your customers with getting things landed and making it part of your overall solution motion. We'll also talk about how can you register the leads uh, and how can we work together to do joint co-selling. Um, and obviously with Avatrix, a partner can have a full life cycle of opportunities in terms of uh, solution selling. If it takes, is that leader in the cloud networking security space, obviously when you are offering your solution, it becomes part of your overall digital transformational port portfolio to the customer. But then you also have opportunity in professional services once your team gets trained. Uh, managed services is a big play within the cloud, right? So um, that's basically is where a lot of customers or a lot of partners are leveraging Evitrix, that force multiplier platform that can help their operations team uh, manage the customer's um, deployment very easily uh, and with uh, superior SLAs and uh, security. And also, you can also have uh, manage operations as well. Um, in terms of Aviatrix, we uh, obviously, you know, for people who are new, um, we have been around for six, seven years now. Uh, the leader in the cloud networking security space provide embedded security, resiliency, agility and cost optimization. Uh, you will get to know how. Uh, we have major uh, enterprises now, uh, won a lot of awards. Um, our support is one of the best in the business when it comes to cloud. Um, we have a very strong balance sheet now and cash position, uh, even in this tough times when, uh, when uh, people are trying to uh, save a lot of money, we are in a very, very good position. Uh, a certified engineering program has been extremely, extremely impactful for partners. Uh, we have about 20,000, 24,000 plus people who are certified now. And some of the partners actually are have more than 2,000 people certified with ACE, right? So this is something that all the partners should leverage. Uh, top recognitions, a uh, lot of awards we have won. Uh, I'm not going to go with each one of them, but that's basically is just to show you the, the stability, the reputation that we have in the industry now. And the most important part Part is uh, you know we have customers, the big brands, in all the verticals. So we are not restricted to just one vertical. Anybody who's moving to the cloud uh, and taking their mission critical applications, Avatrix is an excellent choice for those customers. And I'm sure that you must recognize many of these uh, customer logos uh, that you work with. <clears throat> um, we have a complete, almost an encyclopedia of uh, customer uh, sentiments and customer positive feedback. Uh, you can see three or four here, but we can share with you know other customer case studies as well. It's on, on our website as well. But you know, Informatica, Avatrix hide all complexities, which has reduced the customer onboarding times by week, or whether it's basically you know how to uh, make your networking rock solid, like Lumen Digital, through our Avatrix backbone and Avatrix Transit, Adobe, a repeatable multi-cloud architecture, um, you know doesn't exist outside of Avatrix. Uh, Spencer Nelson from Adobe, Workfront. 
And then Raytheon technology, there's nothing that comes close to a matrix bandwidth for encrypted traffic. So whether it's performance, whether it's security, whether it's repeatability, we have customers who are loving a matrix product uh, and, and need that agility from the platform. Um, I'll take a pause here. Um, Shazad is now going to cover a matrix solution overview. Uh, for some of them, it might just be a refresher, but we will sprinkle in some of the new uh, capabilities that we have added and some of the new go-to-market approaches. And then I will come back and uh, explain some of the billing and pricing, uh, just a high level in terms of how it works, and we go from there. So that, can you uh, start the solution overview part? Sure, all right, thanks, Naman. So let's take a look at this Avitic software and uh, you know how we have built this. So before I go and show you that, let me explain how the business critical applications are deployed in the cloud today. So these business critical applications, they need advanced cloud services and infrastructure. The services provided by the CSPs are, are basic in nature and it's not gonna work for those business critical applications. And when you look at the application and the stack that needs to support these applications, you have some uh, you know, companies like Datadog providing the workload and performance management. Then you have Snowflakes for uh, data analytics HersheyCorp is in the automation space. We also partner with HersheyCorp uh, strongly and we have you know, complete Terraform support. And then last but not the least is basically the networking and security software. This is where Aviatic sits in this stack as a leader, providing networking and security for your cloud deployments and your application could be sitting in any cloud or if it is connecting even to the hybrid locations, such as your data centers, colos like Equinix, or branch locations, Aviatix has a solution providing this end-to-end -end networking and security for business critical applications. Now, if I take you into the actual software space, the software is divided into three, three parts. So the first is the Aviatix controller. Okay, so this is the control plane. So it does not deal with the data plane, it's the controller that's the brain of the solution that you deploy directly from the CSP marketplace. So we are available in all the CSP marketplaces. You just need one highly available controller to manage your entire single cloud, multi-cloud, or even hybrid connectivity requirements. Then we have the Aviatix Copilot, which is also uh, something that's deployed through the controller, runs as the highly available virtual machine or EC2 instance in your own account. It's not a SaaS, product, it's running in your own account. And it's providing you the deeper visibility and the enterprise grade visualization that you need for those business critical applications. And then the third piece is the data plane. So this is these Aviatix smart gateways being deployed by the controller based on your intent. So let's say if you have secure egress or NAT gateway intent or a requirement, the controller will take your intent as a policy and will actually deploy these gateways to build the architecture or build the solution that is needed for your specific need. So for you, the, the, the everything is managed and controlled by the controller. You don't have to manage these gateways yourself. So in a sense, this controller becomes your SaaS portal or your MSP portal or MSP entry point to manage the entire single cloud, multi-cloud or hybrid connectivity requirements. So if I put it in, perspective, and I show you this diagram, this is how it looks like when you actually have the control plane, data plane, and the management plane working together. So on top, you can see the Aviatix controller. This is where you know you will deploy or consume the services um, for this cloud or for your application that you have deployed. And this controller will actually build a hub and spoke architecture for you, right? So let's say if you are in AWS only, the Aviatix transit gateway will be deployed first in a transit VPC. And then the controller will automatically deploy the spoke VPC, deploy the uh, spoke gateways and will build the connectivity for you. And this connectivity is highly available. So in the diagram, I'm only showing you one gateways, but these gateways could be two or even more based on again, your scale requirement. And when they build the connectivity back to the transit, it's the high throughput connectivity with multiple links going back and forth. So you have the highly available and resilient infrastructure built for you. And then this uh, connectivity is also extended to the on-premise locations. 
For example, if you are using Equinix, we have a very strong partnership with Equinix where you can extend this connectivity, extend the cloud operating model to Equinix location or data center locations to provide this networking connectivity for your applications. And then once you have this architecture built here, you can seamlessly copy paste and repeat this architecture in any cloud if needed. So with that approach, what we have done, we have provided this global architecture, providing a unified security, visibility and control. And what it does for applications, basically it solves these pain points for your enterprise. So we have categorized these pain points into the secure cloud networking, embedded security and secure cloud edge areas. So you can see there are a number of different pain points that customers are coming to us uh, for, and then um, we have very comprehensive platform to solve those. For example, high throughput or high performance inscription is a very important and a very simple uh, use case to land. Because customers, when they're deploying Direct Connect or Express Route, they're purchasing 10 gig circuits, but these circuits are not encrypted by default. And the cloud native service is only providing 1.25 GB. So Aviatix patent technology is providing the services and solution in this space. And the NAT gateway is another area where we see a lot of customers coming to us to so save cost because the native NAT gateways are not providing them enough uh, capabilities. They are expensive because of the data charges and whatnot. So after we uh, take a look at this, let me quickly show you the gateway itself. So the gateway, like I mentioned, is not just another virtual machine or EC2 instance or a you know simple virtual router. It has intelligence built into this. So it's providing the intelligent routing. It has the distributed firewall built into this. So it's not only providing layer four, but also layer four security services. You have complete visibility and telemetry coming through these gateway. So everything and anything passing through these gateways, you have deep visibility into it. And unfortunately, this is something you don't see if you are deploying a CSP transit gateway, which is typically a black box. Then we also have capabilities like the load balancing, providing additional security, the threat prevention, anomaly detection, geofencing, a lot of uh, features are being provided, these smart gateways. And then when it comes to reducing your mean time to resolution, we have provided you all the tools that you need or you have been using in the on-premise world. For example, ping, trace route, packet capture, flow analytics, net flow, all of it is actually provided through these gateways. Yeah, one, uh, Shazad, one thing I want to add, if you, if you go back, uh people who uh, have been working with Aviatrix, uh, we have always been a um, provider of security uh, as part of our uh, data plane and networking. We have basically enhanced, this, enhanced the security even further because we own the data plane and our vision is about embedded security, that security should not be considered a bolt-on approach. It should be built into the fabric itself. Right? So 60% to 90% security should be done within the network itself. As you can see, uh, we, we know not only have now distributed uh, L4 firewall, but we now have distributed L7 firewall with a single policy that can apply to any workloads in any cloud and all the way back to the on-prem world. So things like IDS, IPS, URL filtering, vulnerability scanning, threat prevention, anomaly detection, all of these innovative features that we are bringing is because of the fact that we own the data plane, we can see the packet, and when you can see the packet, you can apply intelligent policies and you can apply intelligent security techniques to ensure that your most critical applications are actually get, getting protected closest to the source. Um, so this is the extreme uh, value uh, point for Aviatrix, and uh, that embedded security, and you will start to see a lot more uh, messaging around it uh, in the future as well. Go ahead, Shazad. Okay, so, you know, if you look at the, the solution and the software, in general, but why exactly we have built the solution? Why these large enterprises, these business critical applications are trusting on Aviatix? Because in nature, the cloud networking is complex. When you look at it from outside, the CSPs are providing you these out tables and security groups. They're just providing you the basic networking and security. When, you come, when it comes to actually implementing it with the mission critical applications, let's say SAP S4 HANA, where you have millions of transactions going back and forth, you need the resilient and highly available infrastructure. And this is what Aviatix Advantage is, which is providing this resiliency with embedded security, with agility that you need through automation, 
through integration with your CI CD pipeline through Terraform, and also with the cost optimization in mind. Because if you look at the, the pillars, the design pillars that we propose to our customers, cost is an important factor to it. And this is exactly why our you know, enterprise customers are trusting on Avitix platform to get the cost optimization in various ways. For example, I mentioned the uh, utilization of your Direct Connect. That's the cost optimization right there. Getting deeper into the packet flows with NetFlow data to reduce the time to uh, you know, troubleshoot a problem. This is cost optimization right there and then. Then the NAT gateway, like I mentioned, Aviotix enhanced and advanced NAT gateways are actually providing the advanced NAT capabilities while saving cost for our enterprise customers. So now let's take a look at the, the, ident the opportunity in front of us. And this is very critical and important for our partners to qualify and see where the opportunities are and focus on landing those opportunities as soon as possible. And this is what we have seen over a number of years while working with these thousands of deployments where we know exactly you know, where the main pain points are and how you guys can take this information or knowledge and implement it in your own account. So I'll start with the cost reduction by replacing a CSP NAT gateway with Aviotic Secure Egress. So a lot of time customers, when they deploy the NAT gateways, the CSPs are charging them the uh, per hour just to deploy the NAT gateway, even if it is not used, that's one. And then when the data is being processed through these NAT gateways, CSPs are again charging them for that. So with the Aviatix licensing model, we don't charge for the data processing. So you can see saving right there, right? That's one way of looking at it. The second way of looking at it is providing enhanced security with the Aviotix NAT gateway, what we call Aviotix Secure Edge. Because our Secure Edge is not only providing the advanced NAT capabilities, but also providing the threat intelligence, the anomaly detection, the deeper net flow information, uh, you know, catching malicious actor, bad actors out there, right? So it's, it's basically providing all that beside the NAT functionality. So that's a very, very important land case that you can quickly land your customers on. And the beauty of this use case is that if your customers have already deployed the CSP native services, they don't have to rip anything. They don't, they don't need to change any design. It's a non-disruptive model. Just drop an Aviatrix gateway in the VPCs and VNet, and then you will start getting these you know, cost reduction right there. That's number one. The second is, is the line rate 10 gig encrypted performance for the circuits running inside the cloud or going towards the on-premise location. So we have the patented technology called high performance encryption, which is not only providing the high throughput and high performance inside the cloud, but also if you are connecting to Equinix, for example, right? Because a lot of time customers are telling us that MaxSec encryption is not enough because it's not end to end. And they need deeper security for the workloads that they're connecting to on-premise. Right? And they cannot just live with the 1.25 GBPS IPsec performance. So what we are providing is the solution in that space. So that's another important, and I would say non-disruptive use case, because like I said, if you already have your, let's say TGW or VVAN deployed in the cloud, you don't need to touch anything. You just drop the Aviatrix transit gateway, connect it to your on-prem with this direct connector express route, and then you just immediately get all these advantages. The third, Land use case is to improve the MTTR, the mean time to resolution with a single dashboard. This is a huge challenge for customers in single cloud or multiple clouds, because even if you're in single cloud, there is no centralized control plane. So you're opening number of different tabs to go into different regions and different services. And you're piecemealing everything together. With our platform, what you can do, you can quickly troubleshoot any problem with the ping, trace route, packet capture, deeper packet analytics, net flow data, all the routing protocol and the software defined protocol and the options that we provide as part of our platform. So you can quickly troubleshoot it um, as compared to the black boxes that you deal with where you don't have any visibility. And then it's a shared resource which is being shared by a number of different enterprises. Then we have a very, uh, you know, seen customers coming to us to provide a simple and unified hybrid cloud connectivity. So what do I mean by that? When you're connecting your branches, your SD-WAN, your Econex, Colo locations, a lot of time these customers and partners are in mergers or acquisition scenarios where, where they're dealing with the overlapping IP. 
Now the cloud does not provide you an, an elegant solution to solve that. So we have the solution to provide overlapping IP support for those type of customers. And last but not the least is, like I said, mission critical applications. I'm giving you example SAP HANA here, but it could be any mission critical application that needs the security, that needs the uptime, that needs the resiliency. And this is exactly what Aviatrix platform is providing to the customers. So with that, I'm gonna take you into the Copilot, uh, which is our um, software that provides this deeper visibility and analytics to our customers. So the first thing is about the threat detection. So anytime when you deploy the Aviatrix solution and the Aviatrix gateway is there, the threat detection and threat prevention is part of it. It's very important because if you look at guard duty and those type of services, they can only detect the threat for you, but they will not prevent it. So with the policy mechanism, you're not only detecting the threat, but you're also protecting it. And it's part of the same licensing model. So there is a cost saving right there and then. You don't have to invest into a number of different security services, which could be centralized. This is distributed as part of your uh, deployment. Then the topology view is actually providing you the insights into how your resources and assets are connected in your network. A lot of time you get this, you don't get that because in the CSP world, it's just one you know, console, it's all text-based. You don't get the visualization how these things are connected. In a single cloud, maybe you can, but if you're talking about hybrid connectivity and connecting to multiple clouds, obviously CSP cannot give you that because CSP will just contain to their own domain. They cannot extend their reach. So we are providing you this topology view, but not only providing you, but giving you all the tools directly from the UI. So you can click on the Aviatrix Gateway, for example, and you have all the troubleshooting options, the session flows, the packets per second, and packet drop or whatnot right there and on the screen. Flow analytics is about getting deeper into your flows, how they're connecting to your applications. Are there top talkers that you can look into? Are there flows that are you know, no, unknown to you that could you know, create a potential security threat? So you can actually go deeper into flow analytics. Anything and everything that you do basically is audited through the platform. So if someone by mistake changed some security group or a route table, you will get notified. There are alert mechanism available through email or webhook. So you have deeper analytics audit and reporting capabilities. Troubleshooting, we made this extremely simple. So it's all about picking up a source and destination virtual machine and say, you know, show me how these two virtual machines or EC2 instances are connected, or it could be an on-premise location. And then we'll cut all the noise for you. We'll just show you your view that you need to see for this communication or for this flow and everything in between, right? So you will see the performance, you will see the security groups, you will see the route table. And then at the end, we'll pinpoint the issue for you saying, you know what? This is where you have a security group missing or a knackle missing, and you need to look into this. Uh, then we have provided the SAP dashboard for our customers because uh, you know we have a great partnership with SAP. Uh, we have deeper visibility into the SAP workload. So you can look at the latency, the security, and other information related to the SAP transactions happening in your network. Uh, going more into the uh, you know billing visibility here, you can see the uh, the Aviatrix bill obviously directly from the dashboard, but also you can do a lot more cost optimization because um, when customers are deploying the shared resources and it's a really big problem, is that how do I charge back or show back to my line of businesses? I don't have visibility into you know how much is being used. Can you please give me that? So with the cost IQ module that we have as part of the Copilot, now you can quickly create your line of businesses, your cost centers, and you can quickly show them and build them according to their usage of the resources in the cloud. <clears throat> Over to you, Naman. Yeah, one thing I want to add uh, to Shazad's uh, a couple of slides back, he, he talked about the SAP and cost, right? So. Uh, the, one of the great things that uh, Avitrix is working on is not just about uh, looking at the packet on the wire and the networking security from your VPC, 
uh, to your uh, users or to your other cloud or to your branches or to your data center, but it's also about uh, deep uh, analytics of your application itself. So uh, using the concept of smart tags, you're not now able to identify an application, like for instance, SAP S4 HANA is one of the major applications. You could be have other crown jewel applications that may be running in your cloud. And those are the crown jewel applications that you want to make sure that any deviation from in normal operating conditions, you need to get alerted and you need to take actions as soon as possible. In fact, in some cases, before it becomes a problem. That um, smart analytics, uh, that proactive analytics is, uh, is part of the platform where we're able to track down uh, the specific application like S4 HANA, whether it's in AWS, whether it's in Azure or GCP, doesn't matter. You may have uh, S4 uh, HANA talking to, um, you know, Conquer, Ariba, could be some databases, could be non-prem, could be in another cloud. Are you able to now figure out the latency? You're able to uh, figure out the performance uh, KPIs for those particular applications. Like in this case, you're seeing the specific uh, paths that that application takes and how can you very quickly figure out what could be possible causes of low latency or low performance um, and then be able to then work with the application team, right? So that uh, finger pointing between application networking goes away because now you're all looking at exactly the performance and the latencies and the KPIs of those applications and figuring out whether the issue is in the application layer or the issue is in the um, networking layer. And all of that is possible because you have the end-to-end -end control of the path from the application all the way down to the user and to the destination and point, whether it's in on-prem or whether it's in the cloud. So very key part that, uh, and we will continue to advance that both from a performance and security perspective uh, in the future. Yeah, when I see two oh. questions on the chat, uh, I can take that if you want. So the yeah, first I think question is. Yeah, I have answered it, but if, if it's not, then you can you can answer it here. Okay. Yeah. So the question is about is security services coming from any of your partners or is it native to AVTX? So like we mentioned, the security is embedded into our data plane. So all the layer four services, layer seven services, threat detection, anomaly detection geofencing, all those features are actually part of the Avitix data plane. So you don't need any third party services. But just if you are using, let's say, next generation firewall in your on premise, and if you want to move it into the cloud, for example, so we can actually support that. We have the design patterns um, to support that. In fact, Palo Alto Checkpoint and Fortinet, these are actually part of our, our controller. So you can actually deploy these, these solutions directly through our controller. You can insert them as part of your flows with the policy model that we have. So you can actually increase and enhance the security posture for your applications by providing these uh, or inserting these firewalls into your network. Yeah, and then uh, anything else that you would like to connect to the AVTX software is also uh, possible. For example, I have seen customers using Prisma Access or Zscaler and connecting it to AVTX topology and networks. So that's also a possibility. And then there is a question about what are the features and protocols comprised in the intelligent routing. So yeah, so Avitix provides the dynamic routing capabilities inside the cloud and also connecting to the on-premise locations. So when we connect to on-premise, we uh, talk through BGP, advanced BGP, and uh, the services and features provided by the BGP to on-premise locations, such as Equinix, data center, SD-WAN, branches, you name it, right? And within the cloud, we also provide the dynamic routing with the um, cloud-defined routing technique that we use as part of the controller. Okay, Numan, I think we can move on yeah. to the your section. Yeah, you can, uh, I think people can continue to watch the questions on the chat and they can answer it. So yeah, so I want to spend some, some time explain how the AVTRIX uh, billing and pricing uh, works. Um, we have a very simple pricing model uh, and we have further simplified it with the concept of network connections because, you know, people who are coming from the networking world, they understand that <clears throat> you, you charge for the type of a connection, whether it's a DS3, whether it's a MPLS connection, whether it's a 10 gig connection, one gig connection, you know, 500 gig switch port, two gig switch port. So every uh, type of a connection have a different price and where they sit in the network layer, whether it's a core switch port, whether a distribution switch port, access switch port, they all price differently. So that's what the concept of AVTRIX is. The AVTRIX charge for cloud network connections that are managed by AVTRIX software platform, right? And it's pay 
uh, as you go paper consumption so the, uh, as long as you have that connection up and running you are paying for it when that connection is not running you are not paying for it we do not charge for any controller gateway uh, we do not charge for any copilot so all these are all virtual machines and ec2 instances uh, yes the charge go to the csp cloud provider for the compute instance but from our side there is no charge uh, so aside from cloud network connection um, we uh, may charge for uh, premium features on the platform. For example, if we give a cost analytics or if somebody or customer wants a intelligent cost analytics, because that's not a connection, it's a platform wide feature that applies to everything that's in the system. We may charge for a cost analytics, uh, uh, maybe like, you know, 5%, 10% uh, of the overall MRR. But in general, we charge for cloud network connection and management. Now, when we say cloud network connection, what's included in that connection is not just point A to point B connectivity. That okay, I have a VPC in AWS, I have a VPC in uh, um, or VNet in Azure. You connect it, and uh, you know my packet is going from point A to point B. There is a much more to that. So you will it will include your full 24/7 Platinum support, all the advanced networking and security features around traffic engineering, around quality of service, all there in that connection, uh, unified automation and orchestration. Every connection is fully encrypted with IPsec, right? Uh, all the co-pilot capabilities that uh, Shazad was showing earlier in terms of your threat and then anomaly and uh, monitoring and flow, all of that, uh, we don't charge any extra for that flow collection. And uh, obviously when, uh, you know, customer um, or, you know, buys, your customer buys the Avitrix software, we also provide them uh, training credits for, uh, you know, the basic training for cloud, uh, professional architect level training, operations training, and, and we do the same thing for the partners as well. Now let's look at what <clears throat> what actually is mean by connection, right? So it picture explains this really well. So let's say if you have <clears throat> one VPC here and one VPC here, uh, they are trying to uh, connect to a transit. This is basically, this box defines a transit. So your VPC one is connected to the transit in one region. Your VPC two is connected to another, uh, you know, uh, uh, transit in another region, right? So this is this is cloud two, this is cloud one. So the connection between a VPC and a transit is a is a is one connection that Evitrix is managing. Similarly, if you have a data center or you have a, a Equinix uh, presence, and you are trying to connect your cloud or cloud transit to that. Data data center fully 10 gig full 10 gig, gig encrypted we call this a high performance cloud network connection and similarly if you have a cloud one and a cloud two we are connecting them with standard five gig connection that's a type of a connection right in this vpc i see that there is a standard connection because let's say you i show it with a thin line here it's a more a, a thicker line that's a high performance connection this is a standard connection so if you can see that there is a, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six connections here, and then you just charge based on the type of a connection uh, on an hourly basis. So that, uh, you know, basically builds up your monthly recurring, recurring revenue or MRR or ARR based on that. So <clears throat> depending on the topology of a customer, a customer may have five VPCs, 10 VPCs connected to a transit in a region, connected to a data center, you will say, okay, you know, that's how customers monthly recurring revenue would be in cases where we are managing a firewall like i think there was a question from judge rajesh that if if you're managing a checkpoint or a palo alto that's considered as a connection it could be our own smart gateways that are acting as a firewall so you know you will add that that one connection to the overall uh, topology for 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 your customer as i mentioned no if we took charge for the gateways controller copilot and customer would pay the compute cost uh, to the cloud provider. Now, sometimes customers ask that, you know, or partners ask that, okay, do, you know, these two gateways uh, in each VPC, because they are all active active, would it be too much of a cost? So the answer is that if you look at a generic VPC or general VPC, normally there is about 200 instances running uh, for, for, for applications that customers are leveraging. So this two gateways are almost like a 1%, 2% of the overall cost of your application footprint. So it's peanuts in terms of uh, the overall cloud, um, you know, uh, the bill that the customer gets, but the value that you get in terms of additional level of security, additional level of visibility, additional level of uh, networking is just basically um, way high over the uh, the value, uh, the, the, the cost that it's uh, being charged for. 
All right, so next, let me give you some examples, right? So let's say there's a sample package, example one. Let's say you have a customer who just want 10 secure egress firewall gateways, right? From a Vtrix to reduce the NAT cost, because once you do that, it automatically takes care of NAT. You don't have to pay for data processing. So you do that, you have 10 of these, and then one of them costs 23 cents per hour. So your overall monthly spend is just $1,600 or 20,000 uh, ARR. It's a very simple example just to understand how the pricing works. <clears throat> sample package two, let's, let's say if you have <clears throat> a single cloud, single region, 25 VPCs, managing two firewalls and one data center, right? Or it could be a Colo Equinix location, it could be the actual data center. So you have 25 of these connections. They're all active-active, um, fully redundant, uh, 35, 30.345 uh, cents per hour. You have two firewall connections. You also have a site to cloud connection or a connection to a branch. Let's say you may have a retail branch that you're trying to connect to your cloud because some applications <clears throat> might be trying to feed data to the application running in this VPC. And then you have a data center connection. So you're, you will just count the number of connections and that you know the exact uh, unit price per connection and your monthly bill is 9,000, your annual bill is 109,000. So very simple and easy to understand. Um, you know, once you know what the customer is trying to do, you will just uh, add the type of a connection uh, based on the unit price. And this is all list price that I'm showing here as an example. All right, another uh, example uh, is about uh, building the cloud backbone. This is also one of the common use case that we see from customers who are moving from the data center to the cloud. The first step they want to do is to build a backbone so that their on-prem can connect to it. And then slowly their application will start and connect both as a native option or to our AVTrix smart gateways as well. So in this particular case, you can see that we have about <clears throat> uh, three high performance connections. This bold red lines are high performance. So you have a high performance connection between Equinix facility connecting your data center to the cloud in AWS. This is AWS cloud. You have a high performance connection between AWS region one and AWS region two. You have also have a high performance connection between your data center and your Azure cloud. So you have three high performance connections. You have a multi-cloud connection between the two clouds. This is basically a generic multi-cloud connection. You have uh, two of them. Uh, and then, so this is one and this is two. And then you have a native transit connection, which are three of them because you are connecting your backbone to the native uh, CSP options, which could be a AWS Transit Gateway in AWS, or it could be a VVAN or native uh, route service uh, within Azure, right? So at the end of the day, so you will be able to uh, calculate your bill by saying, okay, three uh, encrypted connections, two regular connections, and three native connections. And that's how your bill would be around 6,854 uh, monthly. So very simple to understand licensing. Again, all the EC2 cost a virtual machine cost goes to the CSP and, uh, and not to a matrix. All right. So, any any questions, uh, Shahzad, on the or Brad on this on, on chat for in, in terms of pricing? Yeah. So, Jaz was asking if this pricing for partners only. Oh no, this price is, is just uh, uh, just this price is just for, uh, list price. It's not for partners. Um, so you know, for partners, you know, we can work directly um, uh, because par partners obviously get a discount, uh, overall discount. So that's just basically an example, a list price to show uh, on how the pricing model works. Yeah, and then one more question from Jason is about in a default deployment, are there data transfer charges we are getting around? That's a very good question. That, so um, yeah. Jason, the, the data transfer for AVTrix, we don't charge for data transfer. Uh, but CSP will charge for the egress data transfer. So like AWS will charge for a data transfer. Um, we will not charge for it. NAT gateway, they also charge for data processing that's passing through the NAT gateway itself. We also do not charge, our secure egress do not charge for data processing. That's why, you know, we are able to save, uh, um, you know, significant amount uh, of cost savings for a customer. I think in one of the customers that we are working with, they're able to realize about five to six millions Per year saving just on the net itself right so uh, obviously it also depends on the how much data throughput or data processing 
is being done by the net gateways but you can see just because we don't charge for data transfer uh, it, our solution can be much more uh, cost effective and one of the reasons why we do that is because uh, evitrix believes in uh, predictability of cost and predictability of outcome and that sometimes it's very difficult to predict your cost if you charge for data transfer so we try to minimize as much as possible um yeah so that's basically is 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 our philosophy <clears throat> any other questions Shilal? no that's it okay so um there are some resources um for our partners um and I, I'm, this is basically our first i would say uh, webinar uh, we have restarted this after a while um we want to do this more often and we are going to drill down on specific topics like for example edge is something that we are releasing uh, where you will be able to extend your same cloud operating model same routing plane same management plane all the way down to the branches we want want to go and deep dive on edges on how does that work similarly embedded security and cloud firewalling we're going to have another session for partners alone um, on how does it work and how can you actually make the security posture more cost effective as well as uh, more manageable right when you have a centralized uh, uh, you know management plane and security plane and policy managing the security across all of your footprint it just makes life easier so we'll cover those as yours and it's a way for us to give you more up-to-date advanced information as quickly as possible uh, but these are some resources um Shazad, do you want to cover this yeah so basically what we have uh, we have a special a place for our partners on partners.avtx.com this is where you can go uh, and look at the the registration link or if you are a new partner and trying to um, you know partnership with us there is a link for that also so you can submit your request for any questions, you can send emails to partners at avtx.com. So we constantly monitor it. There is a team monitoring it. So we'll make sure we'll get back to you. On the community portal itself, if you go to this um, community.avtx.com and then this partner portal, you will see we have resources specifically um, created for partners. So partner onboarding is an important step. We want to make sure you are successful. So we'll see the uh, the resources, the videos, the trainings that you need to take to in order to become a successful partners. The deregistration page is also here on the partners.avtx.com. We're also providing you a direct link that you can uh, scan here. And last but not the least is the training. Extremely important for partners to go through our training. We have a special uh, code and a special uh, discounts for partners. So I would encourage your, you know, your team and your team members to come and take those trainings uh, through AVTX training program. And uh, you can see we have different tracks, number of different tracks to make sure that your teams are properly you know, educated and trained. Um, the, the course starts from the associates uh, course, it's for everyone, it's even for your sellers and also for your technical and non-technical uh, audience there. But then it goes into more technical pieces with the is cloud operations, is cloud professional, the courses for SAP, course for Equinix, and course for Edge. There are a number of different courses that we have published for our customers. And with that, I would like to thank all of you to join us today. Stay tuned. We will have more partner-specific sessions coming to your way. Shazad, there's a question from Jeff about um, recertification of Ace mm -hmm. Pro. Um, is there a, a renewal process or does yes. need to sit the whole, okay. Yeah, so the renewal process is basically, you need to sit into this training again, if you have taken it three years ago, because what we had three years ago is completely changed in terms of our training, in terms of our platform, the solution, and also the industry, because you know, cloud is a fast moving industry. So we, our recertification uh, policy is that you need to take the ACE professional or ACE cloud operations or ACE associate again. Yeah, so there will not be any, I would say, testing, right? Just attend the course, I guess. Exactly. No test required. Just attend the course. Go through the video module for his associate. That's it. For his professional, same thing. You just sit in the, the class. You take the course. You complete the labs. And that will, you know, qualify you for recertification. Yeah. And then we also are uh, actively doing our ACE design expert. That's an in-person in -person, uh, 
uh, I would say uh, calibration of employee uh, of, of partner skills. Uh, we just did one in Seattle last week <clears throat> and I think uh, it went really well. So that's basically is if you are actively working with uh, with Cloud and actively working with Evitrix, uh, you can submit a design and you, you have to defend the design in front of a panel. That's basically a highest level of uh, cloud certification anywhere today where you're able to prove your uh, consulting architecture and design skills in front of a board. But then <clears throat> that's basically is um, give will give you a lot of confidence in terms of your customers. You'd only have about 20 of them. It will grow. It will not probably grow as, as fast as the other certifications for design, but then it will make you part of a very um, accomplished community of experts, uh, including customers that they can share and brainstorm some of the most creative design ideas you can ever come across in the cloud. Um, so that's something that I would highly encourage for you to pursue. We do these uh, in USA, uh, in all the regions, as well as in Europe. So if you have uh, interest, register that early on so that you can, uh, you're able to make one of those sessions, uh, which are invitation only, but as you register the interest, you will be able to get in. Great. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we will uh, thank you for all for joining. Um, we, we, you know, re really appreciate all the uh, all the partnership and your eagerness to learn and help out your customers. Um, you know, it's very exciting to to uh, to talk to new partners from different parts of the world. Uh, we are here to support you, and we want to make sure we build a long lasting partnership. Um, and as long as we are all uh, aligned to the Evitrix vision. Um, you know, we will have a very long lasting partnership for the next 30 years. So uh, great to see you all here and we will continue to have these sessions every two weeks or within a month. As soon as we have things to share, we will basically even schedule an ad hoc session and we can go from there. In the meantime, if you get any customer opportunities, when you talk to customers, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to uh, partners at evitrix.com or reach out to us directly. Uh, you can connect us on LinkedIn and uh, we can uh, directly get back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.